project off-road, all-road TDI update. Um, it runs now. Um, last week was quite busy, uh, you know, doing a fabricating an exhaust and doing a few other things that needed to be done. Um, but it runs, it drives. Um, I've got the fender flares off right now because this week I'm going to uh, get them redone in a truck bed liner. Um, while I had the bumpers off for the engine swap, I also had had the bumpers painted body color just to give it a little slightly newer, more modern look. Um, but I will paint the flares in uh, in uh, that bed liner material just for uh, look a little more rugged. So I still have some of the all road uh, look to it. The car right now is sitting at level four with the um, IPP body spacers on it right now. So. It, uh, it's quite high, and um, this will be good for looking underneath at the uh, mess of the exhaust that I made. Um, we'll just go under the side here. And uh, basically, I did a two and a half inch downpipe um, from the turbo back. Uh, first time welding, as, as anybody with any experience can probably tell. Um, basically, and then a two and a half inch straight section back, and it splits into two the factory exhaust there you can see a little mended piece about a foot long that's where the uh, factory resonator was on the all road so i took that out and used a couple of pieces of pipes uh still from the all road exhaust and made a, my own y pipe it's not the prettiest thing but it works and uh um yeah it's, uh, it works well looking from the rear here you can see that y pipe again and i kept the exhaust tucked up as as tight as i could to the body uh, about a quarter inch there and you can see the uh, how the um, downpipe snakes up beside the transmission and then up um, you know into the engine bay so that's all buttoned back up and it works well um, I did struggle a bit with uh, getting it um, going once I had the ECU in but that was just a, a question of having the correct flash for the ECU I've moved over the badge from that Passat right there. So now it's, uh, it's a wall road TDI. So nice little finishing touch of it. Uh, anybody that knows the car might kind of notice and, and uh, say something. So yeah, let's uh, start it up. And um, it's definitely not, you know, it's a diesel. So um, there are no, no check engine lights or any other lights on the dash. Oh, actually there's an airbag light on right now because the uh, rear seat is the seat bottom is just sitting there and I didn't install it after I uh, when I had the fuel pump out and whatnot. I just I set the rear or the seat bottom down but I did not um, I did not uh, connect any connectors. Um, as you can see this is an uh, being an all-road cluster which I, I cloned uh, the immobilizer I cloned the immobilizer section of the cluster so that the uh, the little key symbol I mean so it works correctly you can also see when you first the glow plug near the uh, 1000 rpm marker there um so anyways everything works um start up again there's uh, one light on airbag and uh, and that's about it it runs well Clacking away. Um, you can see the downpipe right up here. Again, the welds are not great, but first time. So um, I'm still gonna put the cover on here, the engine cover. But um, the cover had a foam noise dampening material on the bottom side of it that had all but deteriorated away. So I want to try to find some other foam material to throw under that cover. Just it helps with the noise. You know, not. I mean, I'm not too concerned about it, but I like to keep it somewhat close to OE. Uh, with that cover as well, I'll button up all these these three things. This is my air horn uh, hose. I've got two air horns sitting in, in, underneath the uh, passenger side headlight. Um, just because uh, I had them before, so there's uh, one of them. These, that's a, they're massive anyway, six inch bell on them. So, uh, yeah, it runs well. It dry, I've driven it. Um, so I got left to do. I got to put the um, fender flares back on. I, I ordered a, a new set of these. These are always brittle. 
I, I was contemplating making some out of aluminum or stainless, but uh, the profile on them is just, it's not something I'm comfortable with doing. When I do get the new ones in the mail, I'm gonna have an extra one because I'm only gonna replace the uh, right side because this one didn't, is still okay. Still gotta pol polish the headlights as well, but anyways, when I replace it, I might contemplate taking some aluminum C-channel and uh, see if I can't make a bigger mess out of it. Um, yeah, it, uh, it runs, it drives. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. So, we'll go for a little drive. Before I get in the car here, I just wanted to show if you can really hear the whirl of the turbos back here. I'm still running the all-road stock rear mufflers, but uh, yeah, it's quite a different tone. So, get in the car now, we'll go for a quick little drive. All right, so. I still don't have the shifter hooked up or finished because I'm installing several switches underneath the shifter leather here for uh, some silliness, including the air horn switch over for this uh, for the factory horn. I have a switch for that and a couple other things that uh, I don't know, just the nerd in me. So. It's quite bouncy in, in this level four. Yes, I'm getting an oil pressure light, but the pressure is fine. I gotta, I gotta replace that sensor. Uh, I got one on order. Should be coming in on Mon uh, yeah, Monday. So uh, that kind of scared me when I first uh, started it up, but because uh, the the engine did not exhibit any signs of low oil pressure, nor did I have a fault in that Passat, that donor car. Um, it. Um, I drove it fine for about a year, uh, no, about a month, sorry, so, but anyways, um, yeah, there's that, but still got to charge the AC, uh, but that should all work, everything's back in as it was from factory, no, uh, should be no issues there. Quite a bit of vibration transmitted through the body. Um, the car has uh, the TDI motor mount, but a single mass flywheel, and uh, that doesn't help. You can hear now the uh, uh, air suspension compressor uh, trying to fill the air tank in the back. It's, the tank is not there. I uh, I have moved the manifold, uh, that the, the whole control block that uh, sends the um, you know air to each the bags and whatnot. I moved it to the interior of the car uh, because I'm working on another project to uh, have uh, much quicker, you know, dump valves uh, than they were stock. So it'll fill and lower. It'll raise and lower a lot quicker. Um, so I got a set. I got six solenoids. I got a, um, uh, a manifold block. I got a, a pressure transducer, and basically gonna wire it all up. I, uh, you know, to work like the factory, it'll still be factory controlled with a factory level control module and all these switches, but the actuation will be done with these uh, aftermarket solenoid setup. Uh, and I, you know, I took a, I took another uh, suspension control unit or m control valve manifold block thing. Took one apart, not on purpose, but I dropped it and broke it. So I took it apart and measured the resistance of uh, uh, the. Um, solenoids in the stock one so I found some solenoids that were the same uh, so um, uh, you know it, it, sh it should not fault out or anything so just something to do but yeah it uh, it runs drives uh, yeah I got to get the, the oil pressure sensor and uh, and yeah that's uh, and charge the AC but uh, and obviously put it all back together but uh, yeah it's um, pretty much done <laughs>